It is such an honor to be here today. Um, I am proud to say that I am a fourth generation teacher. My mother, who is a teacher, is here tonight. My grandmother always uh, told me she retired too early after dedicating 44 years of her life to this profession. For the past 19 years, it has been a privilege to be a teacher at the small but mighty Bell Avenue School in the Robles School District. However, my experience as an educator actually began approximately 35 years ago at the wonderful young age of six. My classroom at that time was a light yellow detached two-car garage. My class size was small and it consisted of just two students, my younger sister, Sarah, and my small dog, Gidget. <laughs> my desks were unsteadily stacked cardboard boxes that were just high enough to perch my students from without the possibility of them getting down without my assistance. <laughs> from the beginning of my teaching career, I had very high expectations for my students' learning. I would frequently ask, for my students to read for me. And I can remember the magical feeling that I was looking for as I waited for them to read just one word and I truly believed that they could. My sister at the time was three. <laughs> Unfortunately, my lesson objectives at that time were not met. <laughs> Nonetheless, I have an unbelievably clear memory of wanting to be able to teach my sister to read, and Gidget, likewise, <laughs> and realizing that there was something magical about being able to teach someone and to give them the gift of knowledge. As I reflect today on the joy that teaching brings to me, my enjoyment unquestionably largely comes from witnessing magic take place. The magic when a student learns to subtract across zeros and in third grade, that's a big one. <laughs> the magic from a child learning their multiplication facts or long division. And finally, I am able to witness the magic of students learning to read. So to all of you educators among me, as you begin your new school year and you take on all the multitude of challenges that are involved in teaching today, I encourage you to keep your eyes open for the things that we can so easily forget to celebrate. Once again, take time to pause and rejoice in the excitement of watching a child's face light up when they learn something new. Take time to embrace the magic and remember what an incredibly special gift it is to have the ability to teach another. Thank you. It's such an honor to be here.